We're doing an October caddis fly here. Um, everything eats these things, but this this is one we're really actually going to do for sea run cutthroat. And if I had any idea where my materials were, this is my uni or Lagerton oval tinsel. Great fly, and and these you know it's October. Well, guess what? These, these bugs. Hatch. I've seen them hatch from August on, so it's worth having these around. And when, if fish ever start keying on them, look out. So this is a STS Trilobal. It's got some burnt orange. It's got some hot orange. It's got some UV Minnow Belly Ice Dub blended in with it. Nice and buggy. Now, I want to be careful. I don't want to get too close to the eye of the hook. And you'll see why in a moment. So I like these. There's, there's a lot of patterns out there that imitate this bug. This is a fun one. I'm not entirely sure it's completely different than every other one in the world, but it's a fun one. So I'm using American Saddle Clump feather, nice and long, but I just want the, the little bitty part down near the butt that's webby, and I'm hoping that this hackle isn't going to spin on me, and to twist. We're about to find the moment of truth is almost upon us. Fold that a little bit. See if we're going to get lucky. You don't need much hackle here. Oh, this is going to work out so nicely, just right. Now, remember, this bug, this insect, is big. It lumbers and it swims up out of the water, and the fish can really go chasing after this. Now, it's also um, tends to be found in. Uh, swift water in riffles. I've got some natural deer hair here. I'm going to cut a decent sized clump and I'm not going to stack it and I'm, I'm going to try, it's, there's a curve to this. I'm going to try to maintain that curve so I don't get hackles, or hackles, fibers turning up, not stacked. I got a few fibers turned up on me and if I can, it's not essential, but I'd like to keep that little bit of a curve in those in those hair fibers. So, how long? Not too long. Just barely past the bend. I'm going to trim this now. I'm going to do a loose turn. And then I'm going to tighten it, but I'm still holding it in place. Can you see how that flares there? I don't really want this to flare too much, but it, you, you can't you can't tie it in without it flaring. Now I'll, I'll wrap tighter as I go forward. Now in the good old days, we just finish wrapping that over with dark thread, but we're going to have fun here. And we're going to put on, I'm going to try to spin this black trilobal on real thin. Let's get it to catch there. Real thin, there we go. A little another dab of cement there. So this is these caddis flies actually have a very dark head, and it's pretty prominent. And now, this is going to help. It's going to ease up on the flaring, so that that hair is going to lay a little bit down, lay back a little bit more than it was before. So now I'm going to work to the eye of the hook. To tie it off. This is such a cool fly. And you, you fish this 
with action, with serious action, right near the surface. <laughs> Steelhead will take this big native rainbow will take it. And sea runs definitely take it. There you go.